The new book, Troublemaker, is already a blockbuster. There is so much in it. Uh, a lot of it is serious, and here's what. I have a few uh, follow-up questions to the book, because okay. I read it, and I'm, I'm fascinated, and I know the viewers have a lot of questions. Um, how much money do you estimate that you gave the Church of Scientology through your life? Uh, millions. Millions? Mm -hmm. Over three? Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, I wondered, can you explain the church's stance about maintaining relationships with family members who have left the church? For example, I, I am fascinated by the yeah. Tom Cruise thing in terms of his daughter. Mm -hmm. If she allegedly left the church, what does that mean in terms of his ability to You mean be... his, his actual baby? Yes, mean... sir. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. If, if she's no longer a Scientologist, which I've just, I'm assuming or I've read, mm -hmm. does that mean he can't be in touch with well, her? Well, she, she's a baby, so she doesn't, she's a child. She doesn't have a choice. Okay. Yeah, so, um, no, but the policy of the church is you can't be connected to someone who has committed a suppressive act, which I have, um, Katie has, for right. the church policy. Got it. So you, you can't be connected to that. You know, you have to shun that particular person. Um, I'm wondering also, you didn't mention Travolta much in your mm. book at all. Did you just not have really much contact with him? Well, my, my dealings with John, he's a very sweet man. He's yeah. a very sweet man, and he, and he loves the technology of Scientology. And yes, I've, I've met him a few times, and he's been lovely. Um, you said in your book that the way Tom Cruise treated people, quote, was utterly shocking. Mm -hmm. What did you mean by that? Well, because he, he, he appeared to have an enormous amount of power within the church, um, that, that's what I'm referring to. Because knowing what would happen to that parishioner if they stepped out of line in, in, in the church would be dealt with the church. And so knowing that you, you might have that kind of power and what that would cause somebody like me or, or just an average parishioner was great. You said that you dated some pretty hot soap stars mm. in the book. I'm a huge soap fan from the day. Can you give me a name or two? Because I have a feeling I made like, no. Well, good, take a guess. Honestly, I, I Peter I don't, Reckle I don't, from no, Days? No, nope. no. Um, can you give me the soap they were on? I couldn't. I mean, I wish I could. I wish that I had that much um, care and love for myself to care. What show they were on, or new? Oh, you mean you did? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, okay, I like it, okay, all right. I said I was a slut. Okay, well, I know, but I didn't know how sorry, much. Sorry. I, I don't, don't know. I don't like okay. in front of you and Emilio. Why? Okay, okay. 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 I'm, I'm not the pope. That, that is, uh, that's interesting. And then I also wondered, why was Brooke Shields on the plane to the Tom Cruise's wedding when she had famously really he and not to mention, and then I also jumped on that bandwagon because I was also in the church when that happened, and I was like, yeah, we all hate her, you know? And then I was like, eh, there she is. And then is. she was on the plane, yeah. but wasn't that weird that she was on the plane? Uh, yes. What did you make of that? I was like, Mark Sheila on the damn plane! Right. You know, yeah. <laughs> I didn't really understand it, right. you know? But I was like, okay, everybody who is uh, a leader in their field is on this plane and at this wedding. So right. I just assumed we were just inviting everybody Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. And make sure you subscribe to our Watch What Happens Live Clubhouse channel right here. And to watch more videos, click here and here. See ya.